guys welcome back to my channel happy thanksgiving week and if you're in the south then happy rivalry week and roll tide for me of course um so today i just wanted to make a really quick video this is probably going to be my last video of the fall but i was going to make a really quick one um about things that i can and cannot see and i've gotten this question a lot um so i just wanted to share a few things with you guys i've made a list and i've been thinking about it throughout the week and adding a few things here and there whenever it comes up so I'm going to share that list with you guys real quick. But first I want to tell you something kind of interesting. Um, my phone broke Friday night. So I went to AT&T and decided to make the switch from an Android to an iPhone. So I am, yeah, definitely still learning the ways of the iPhone. So if you have any tips for me, that would be great. Um, but I want to show you guys the coolest phone case. Check out my phone case. Is that not the coolest thing? I hope you can see it, but that's really, really neat. So I've been kind of just randomly shaking my phone. I'm sure I look really odd in public, but it is what it is, right? So I'm just going to share a few things off of this list with you guys. Um, the first thing that I wanted to point out that, that visually impaired, most visually impaired people cannot see, and that is license plates. Um, it's really funny because when you're on a road trip, um, they'll play that game, Spot the License Plate, I think is what it is, or something like that. And I pretty much just forfeit on that game because I cannot see license plates. Um, another thing is road signs. Um, the green signs that have the actual street names on them, I cannot see them just because of the contrast of the green and white. I cannot see that. I can see um, like speed limit signs and like um, highway signs, but we have to be basically right up on them before I can spot them. So, um, yeah, probably shouldn't ask me <laughs> what road that is over there because I'm not going to be able to see the street signs to tell you. Um, okay, and then another thing that I can't see is a lot of menus at restaurants will have, um, depending on the lighting and if they have small font or like cursive font or something like that, um, I'll have a hard time seeing those. Um, the next thing is chalkboards or whiteboards, which I guess if you're in school nowadays, you may not even know exactly what that is. I'm not really sure how they do school nowadays, but um, chalkboards or whiteboards that were in the front of the class that the teacher wrote on, it did not matter how close I sat. I just, there was, with the blackboards, um, the chalk was not bright enough for me to see. And with the whiteboards, the glare from the light was too bright and I couldn't see those. So there was, it didn't matter where the teacher would put me or whatever, I still couldn't see it. So that made school um, pretty difficult, but we always managed to work around it. Um, I cannot spot faces in a crowd. Um, I tend to memorize what people are wearing or something distinctive about them to help me out with that because when a room is really crowded, I just cannot, all the faces just blur together, glasses or no glasses, they all blur together. Um, I cannot see computer screens from far away. So um, this came up this year at my son and daughter. They go to two different schools, and at both of their schools, they've implemented this system where instead of just telling the receptionist who you're checking out, um, you actually go up to the computer screen yourself and type in the information, and you have to stick your ID in a little slot and all this stuff. And the keyboard at my son's school is set at an angle away from like the keyboards right here the computer screen is in a corner over here and as you're typing the the um, monitor is so far away from the screen that I literally have to type and then move and get close to the monitor and make sure what I just typed was correct and then go back and type again it so computer screens are a struggle for me if it's not my own computer set up with you know larger font and um, all that stuff that helps me out so computer screens yeah those are a big thing um name tags like if i go out to a restaurant or if i'm in a retail walmart target whatever i cannot see name tags um so yeah i, I prefer to refer to people by name so usually hopefully the server introduces themselves and um so i'm good at memorizing names but i cannot see name tags so sometimes that's a struggle um, what else can I not see? Oh, subtitles on TV and movies. I cannot see those, and um, thankfully my husband's just in the habit of reading those out loud for me, because that is a struggle when you're watching a movie and they have subtitles or text messages in the movie that you need to read. So, yeah. Um, eye color. I cannot see your eye color unless I look at a picture of you and then zoom in on your eye color. But person, face-to-face, -face, I cannot see your eye color. 
um, ingredients, um, like on product labels. Yeah, I cannot see the ingredients. So I will, if I'm looking at what ingredient is in a specific food, um, then I will take a picture with my phone and zoom in on it. So thank goodness for phones. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, um, I cannot see if you have something on your face or in your teeth. So do not ask me, um, hey, is this pimple noticeable? Because blemishes, that's another thing. I don't really notice those unless I'm right up in your face. And I have issues with personal space. So I'm not going to be right in your face. So more than likely, I think everyone looks beautiful and lovely regardless of what blemishes you have. Um, oh, this has to do with the phone, actually. I cannot see phones in regular font. Like I have all of my font settings. Um, everything's in bold. And my font is enlarged. So... It's probably best not to show me something on your phone because I won't be able to see it. Um, I cannot read text messages when people are like, oh, look at this. Look what so-and-so just sent me. I'm like, nope. Unless your phone, unless your texts are blown up like mine, I cannot see those. Um, what else? Oh, tiny handwriting. Ugh, it used to drive me crazy in school um, when we would write notes back and forth. And I would be writing notes with someone who wrote really tiny or someone who had really light handwriting. Um, I cannot see tiny handwriting. So, yeah, that was a struggle back in the days when we used to write notes instead of texting. Um, I know some of you are probably like, pass notes? Why did you do that? But, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, Bibles. I have a really hard time seeing Bibles. Um, I have a giant print Bible. Um, I also have a super print Bible, I think is the name of it. So there's different prints of Bibles, but most regular Bibles that are like in your church pews, I cannot see those. So I usually just use the Bible app on my phone. I have my font set to giant basically, and I have the contrast turned down so I can see it perfectly. So stop judging people who are using their phones in church because sometimes they may be just blind like me. You never know. <laughs> um, another thing. Oh, this is interesting. I cannot see the tiny details of insects or of birds. So, um, when people are talking about like what type of bug that is, unless it makes a noise, I typically do not know what kind of bug it is because I just cannot see those tiny little details. Um, I mean, I can see like an ant crawling across the table or something if it's close up, but I can't see like individual legs and the two different body parts or whatever those are called on ants. I don't really know, but I cannot see any specific details on birds or bugs. Um, and, and bird watching, yeah, that's something, if I had a monocular or binoculars, I could probably really enjoy that, but um, as it stands, just with the naked eye, I cannot see birds from far away. I can hear them, and they sound lovely, but I just can't see them. Um, oh, this one is interesting, because my sister's into couponing, so I've been thinking that maybe I could get into it, um, but I cannot see any of the fine print on the coupon, and I cannot see the expiration date just with the naked eye. So what I will usually do is, again, I will take a picture with my phone, and I can see it that way. Um, but, so I re do rely a lot on the camera feature on my phone to take pictures of small print. And so those are just a few things I was going to share with you guys that I cannot see, because I get it's really hard to explain your own vision to someone else, even if you give numbers, which um, I think I am 2200 in my right eye. And my left eye is pretty bad. I don't remember the exact number, but my left eye is my worst eye. My right eye is 2200, but with my glasses, it does bring my vision to 2120. But even sharing those numbers with you guys, that's not really something that you can imagine what someone else sees, even knowing those numbers. So maybe if I just give you, um, I figured if I just give you a list of the things that I cannot see, that will give you an idea. Um, I cannot see, I'm going to add another thing off the top of my head to this list. I cannot see house numbers or numbers on the mailbox. So um, when we're driving somewhere and we're looking for an address, I'm usually just looking at um, Google Maps on my phone or um, just <laughs> whatever because I can't see house numbers on the house until I walk up to them. Um, but things that I can see, um, if we're face to face, I can see your face, I can see your facial expressions, um, but I just can't pick your face out in a crowd um, or, you know, if we're sitting too far away. But um, I can, I go to the movies, I don't like to sit up close, I like to sit somewhere toward the middle or the back. Um, I don't think anyone really likes to sit up close in the movies, but yeah, I can see the movie screen. I still, um, 
will have trouble with subtitles, especially because nowadays they do subtitles in yellow for some reason. And if it's yellow on like a desert background or something like that, then I still can't really see the subtitles very well. But yeah, I have no trouble typically at movie theaters. Um, fast food restaurants. Okay, so I do have a, I can't see the menu that's like the menu board that's behind their heads when you're ordering at a fast food restaurant inside. Um, so I'll typically, if I've never been there, then I'll just pick something off the special boards that they have that are like right as you walk in the door. Or if there's a sign on the door, then I'll typically pick that food item because I really can't see the menu board behind their heads. But um, I can see cars coming. I can cross the road relatively safely um, just because I can't see the license plate. I can see a big car. Now, I may not be able to tell you who's in the car. So if you pass me on the road and I don't wave at you or whatever, I just typically didn't see you and sorry. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can add to this list of things I can or cannot see. Um, but yeah, those are just some of the things I wanted to share with you guys. I can't think of anything else that I can add right now. Um, I can obviously see my TV in the living room. Um, I can see well enough to um, pick out specific, you know, I can see colors just fine, totally fine. I love um, the colors of fall and stuff so that's why I wanted to film outside today I just want to get that last pretty fall backdrop so but yeah if I think of anything else I'll either make a follow-up video or I'll stick it in the comment section and um, you guys can let me know if you have any questions or if you've ever wondered if I could see anything and um, just let me know and ask me and I'm very open I'll answer your question the best that I can um, and yeah, so I just hope you all have a really happy Thanksgiving and can't wait to see you again and roll tie. Let me know in the comment section what team you pull for. Um, I'm kind of excited. I know it's rivalry week for everyone. So it's going to be a really great week of Thanksgiving and food and shopping and football and one of my favorite times of the year. So thank you guys again so much for watching. See you next time.